welcome back to Red Ted Art. Oh yes, it's time for some fun Christmas crafts. Today we have the most adorable, and I promise you, as usual, easy snowflake craft that you can make. Perfect for Christmas, perfect for adding to gift wrap, and also perfect for January and February. So when winter drags on and you want something pretty to cheer up your room, these are the ones for you. So come on, let's gather our supplies and see how these gorgeous pipe cleaner snowflakes are made. So per snowflake, you will need one pipe cleaner. Some people like to make them a little bit bigger, so they use two pipe cleaners. You can use white, blue, or some cool sparkly ones. Today, I'm going to use a white one. Um, you can also use, or well, not you can also use, you will also need some beads. So I've got a collection here of different colors. So these are the ones I'm gonna use. You can use them as, as simple or as colorful as you like. And you're gonna put them down. Um, and then you can start making. Oh, <laughs> my beads are gonna roll off now. So the first thing you need to do is cut this into three pieces. So I'm gonna fold it roughly into thirds. You'll see in a minute why. So I say roughly, because I've got one which is a bit longer. And that's because I need a little hook for hanging. Some people like to make them all the same. Some people like to use two pipe cleaners and cut them in half and use um, halves. So it's, it's really a question of preference. I quite like them this size. Um, and I think it's important to have one that's a little bit longer. So the first thing you do is you fold it over, <laughs> fold the other one over, hook them up, give them a little twist. And then take the longest, make sure it's the same length, find the middle, take the longest and wrap the long bit all the way around. So that basically secures them all together and you should still have a little bit extra. I mean, this really is such an easy craft. Look at that, so simple, so easy. If you're working with younger kids, um, you know, of course you don't have to because these are so pretty, anyone can make these. But if you are working with younger kids, for example, you could start them off and have these ready and then they can do the beading or, uh, you know, they can do it themselves. And then literally you just add your beads. And this is the pattern I've chosen to make. Now, luckily my biggest bead is actually a little bit stiffer in the middle, so actually, once I've put them on, I can just leave it. If you find your bead is loose, there's two things. You can either add a little bit of glue and put the bead on, or you go for the um, two pipe cleaner method where you have um, longer pieces and at the end of each bead, you just give it a little twist and have a little bit poking out, which is also fine. So it just depends on what you've got. So you have your last one. Just make sure that they're all even. If you want, you can just give that a little fold. Oh, I think it's adorable. Isn't that gorgeous? And then all you do literally with the last one is give a little hook. And that hook is what I'm gonna to use to hang it in my ornaments tree or my normal tree. Or like I said, you add a bit of fishing wire and then you can hang it in your window. And there you go, look at them. Aren't they stunning? I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so easy to make, like you saw, literally five minutes to make. Really, really cute. And like I said, I think they're really special. These would be great, something to sell at a craft fair or um, at school or to make it in the classroom. They make beautiful keepsakes. Um, so yes, as per usual, if you enjoyed the craft, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Above all, I'd love you to come back to Red Head Art. I'd love you to keep watching and of course, keep making. Until then, take care. Bye.